Hey guys, Dual Dreamer here. Uh, I just want to take the time to talk about something that I heard from the Archfiend. I just watched his new video today. Uh, I just want to get my two cents on it. So it's sort of like a response to his video and stuff like that. So what's been happening is um, there's a 19-year-old from Texas. Um, is might be facing eight years in prison for a comment he made while playing a video game. And this game was called League of Legends. Uh, pretty much what the comment was actually being taken as like a terrorist uh, threat um, rather than him being sarcastic you know because the person he was playing with said he was insane but this is what he actually said and I'm actually gonna put the screenshot what he said um, and also if you want to read the articles in the description box below um, he said oh yeah I'm real messed up in the head I'm going to shoot up a school full of kids and eat their still beating hearts and he followed it up with you know LOL and just joking like JK just joking now this is all a uh, res response from the father of the child of the kid not no the young man excuse me because he's 19 I can't call him a kid um, and this whole article is about his response but what I want to take you, if you want to hear Archfiend's point of view in this one you can but I'm gonna actually take a different approach on this one okay now this is actually a good example of what could happen to people when they just shoot off the mouth on the internet like people really feel that they are invincible when it comes to the internet they, they can type whatever they want say whatever they want and no one can touch them you know I've, I've had that multiple times when I start doing these vlogs where people were like threatening my family um, calling me gay this and that and all this stuff um, calling me the n-word um, even playing video games on Xbox 360 have people making um, death threats to me and stuff like that and you know what? I shrug it off because it's like what are you gonna do to me you know what I mean unless you, you I you and I are actually face to face you can't do anything to me you know what I mean so but despite all that People need to actually think before they say something online. Bottom line, okay? You're not invincible. People can get caught because this kid here, a person from Canada, saw this comment, find out where this person lives, and guess what? Made a report, oh, he might be a terrorist. He might kill people at a school because he lives near a school. Stuff like that could happen, people. You know what I mean? You know, it's these people out there who think they can say whatever they want and not get caught. You know, they don't realize what kind of a society we're living in right now. Ever since 9-11, ever since the Aurora shootings, ever since, um, um, excuse me, uh, what happened in Connecticut. You know, stuff like that you need to consider of the things you say because people will take it seriously. Now we're at a point of zero tolerance when it comes to threats like that. You know, but people still do what they want to do because they have a freedom of speech. But, you know, sometimes we're kind of losing that slowly but surely with all this zero tolerance BS. But I understand why they do zero tolerance because they want to stop terrorism before it starts. But bottom line, people, is watch what you say. You know, what? yes, it may be sarcastic. Yes, you may be joking. But especially when it's on a text, people can't tell if it's joking or sarcastic or not just by a text. Now, if I'm talking to you guys, like with this video, you can tell if I'm being sarcastic or am I being serious. Because you can hear how my voice is. But through a text, no one can tell unless you put AOL or just joking. But even with that, people will still say it's a tasteless uh, comment. You know... Like me, for example, you know, I have to watch what I say all the time when I'm on the internet. Why? Because I'm a teacher. You know, I did video vlogs about students doing stupid stuff. But if I end up saying like, oh, this child's a brat and stuff, and then a parent who knows me sees this, and then makes a report saying, oh, this, this guy is calling people names. What if he's saying to my student? Get it? You know? We're at the point that, you know... No one is invincible anymore. No one is immune, has immunity to say whatever they want on the internet. It could jeopardize your job. It could also jeopardize your social status. Like, not long ago, one girl uh, was making some kind of a threat comment on Obama because he got reelected, and people took that seriously, and she almost got arrested for it. And she got, and her social status is not that great anymore. 
you know, I had to, I shall put that on the description box below about that video. It's by some other kid. But yeah, I mean, the internet. You guys have to think before you talk. You know. Now, what's gonna happen to this kid? You know, part of me feels like I hope he doesn't get eight years in prison for just saying a comment on line. But at the same time, this is an eye opener for all you people out there who thinks, oh, I'm a tough guy. I'm going to say whatever I want. He's not going to do anything. And I always say to those people, you guys are freaking cowards, cowards, because it shows that you're too scared to tell junk to other people's faces. They resort to just typing it on and say, oh, I feel safe here. I can say whatever I want. No one can touch me. You know, some of these, some days, some person is going to pull a Jay and Silent Bob, making a reference to the Jay and Silent Bob uh, Strikes Back when they find out all those guys, you know, names and stuff when they're main coppins and they start beating them up and stuff like that. You ever seen a movie? Watch it. It's funny. But one of the days, people might do that, you know. But this should be an eye opener for all you people who like to say whatever they want on the internet. You know, so I don't know. What hap what's gonna happen to this kid? I don't know. You know, he might end up eight years. The courts might dismiss it because it's just over a video game. But just the bottom line is people need to watch what they say. Because it could jeopardize your job, it could jeopardize your social status, and it also jeopardize your freedom. Because you never know who's gonna be out there watching your comments could be a priest could be your teachers could be a po um, police person could be even the government because now the government's starting to try to screen things what people say and do on the internet so anyway that's what that's my two cents on the whole matter um tell me what you think about this so uh, read the article please um give me your two cents on it comment down below if you agree disagree you know you know so anyway this is all I have to say, and take care, guys.